segment. If you want to squeeze a call in or two, that's up to you. Um, how about the story yesterday or over the weekend where IMG Academy and high school football played Sycamore, Bishop Sycamore, and they're not even a, they're not even a team. They got on the television. They got on ESPN's national game. Here's from Dawson Boyd covering this uh, couple of notes. Uh, there has never been a Bishop Sycamore. They played two games in three days. Their head coach currently has an active arrest warrant. Most of the players are JUCO dropouts who are nowhere near high school age. How did ESPN get scammed this badly? Uh, Craig played in a state championship game one time in baseball against guys that probably were JUCO or college or whatever level or even like four years older than him. How does this happen on ESPN? Yeah, I don't know. And then the the, the person who the article for Awful Announcing, you know, there's another Bishop Sycamore, a, a, a team from somewhere in the area or like an older team, but it's, man, I, I have no idea. How did IMG Academy get scammed like this? They had, they're trying to schedule. I think they're supposed to play Duncanville too, aren't they? This yeah. Bishop Sycamore, yeah. They're supposed to play Duncanville here in Texas. Yeah. This is this is all. I'm going to call Reggie Samples. Uh, by by the way, the Desoto, Cedar Hill, and Duncanville's the three uh, teams in that 11 six A. All of them lost to good people. Right. But I'm going to call Reggie Samples here's, after the show. Here's the saddest part about Bishop Sycamore: you're all JUCO dropouts. You're older than these high school and got kids, drilled. and they got absolutely boat raced by high school kids. So you can't even cheat right. Yeah, ESPN said they've uh, discussed it with the Paragon Marketing, yep. which is the one that uh, is securing all of these deals and these games. And so uh, somewhere along the way, Paragon Marketing got absolutely fooled, and ESPN didn't think anything of it. And I can kind of understand that. You wouldn't think this marketing team would get completely, you know, duped by some rogue band of, like, college kids playing high school football. I saw where their quarterback – Somebody found his like twenty four seven profile, and he had been listed as a like a a, a quarterback with no offers in like uh, two recruiting classes ago. He had been listed uh, as a, a senior quarterback, like class of twenty one or whatever it was, uh, and or class of twenty twenty or something like that. I saw the page. He had no offers. He he clearly had was supposed to have graduated, and yet there he was playing two years later on. <laughs> on the on those fields so uh just bizarre how that happens and like what's the point it's like you you did all that to create this team and like like what's the end goal here because your team sucks like there it'd be one thing if they were good it'd be one thing if like they were good and and they had actually went and played a competitive game and then people would have been like wait who the hell are these guys and then maybe they would have gotten into some trouble because clearly things aren't on the up and up but at least you'd be competitive but like they're fake and they suck so it's like, what is the point of this whole well, thing? At least when Denny Almonte did that in the Little League World Series, I mean, he was, you know, striking kids out, you know, I, I mean, to do it and, and fail. Like, there's nothing sadder to me than trying to go back to high school once you're gone. Yeah, that's and, pathetic. And then to, like, play against the high school and then just get drilled. Uh, well, they had played a game earlier in the yeah. week already, so they had played, like, twice in a matter of days and – Apparently, the marketing company thought that they had, like, a split squad or something. Like, it just – I don't know, man. Like, one of the biggest okay. what's uh, that I've seen in, in some time, of just as far as a strange story, and you're like, how in the world could this have, have, have happened? And yet it happened. And uh, now we're, we're getting to enjoy this weird, crazy backstory. Yeah, if I was doing a game and I try to get a hold of coaches on the Saturday prior to the game that's on a Friday the next week, send an email – if I never got a response or they never answered my calls, I would then call the superintendent or I would call the athletic director if it's a large enough school. And then if I didn't get anything from them, I would call the team that they're playing, like the team that we're broadcasting, and go, who are these people? And this is ESPN doing this. And so, Well, isn't it crazy they could have uh, scouted their previous game since it happened the night before? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Played two straight days. This yeah. team played two straight days.